The scenes unfolding in the streets and fields of Ukraine are nothing short of a tragedy. Russia never ceased to surprise us. First, they threatened Finland and Sweden, then yesterday they threatened the United States. Now, they have decided to ban Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister of the UK, from entering the Russian land. They blame the UK for isolating Russia and ruining its economy. It's quite amazing how Russia would blame everybody except their selves. In a statement, Russia's foreign ministry said that United Kingdom's unbridled information and political campaign aimed at isolating Russia internationally is creating conditions for containing our country and strangling the domestic economy were responsible for its decision. They are also angry at the UK for supplying effective weapons to Ukraine, which destroyed their Soviet-era tanks and technologies. Russia is always outraged these days. The Russian media has been doing its best to shift any kind of blame to the West and always ready to play the victim. They also added that the British leadership is deliberately aggravating the situation around Ukraine, pumping the Ukrainians with lethal weapons and coordinating similar efforts on the part of NATO. Of course, the United Kingdom has responded to these ridiculous ban of Russia. They said that the UK and its international partners stand united in condemning the Russian government's reprehensible actions in Ukraine and calling for the Kremlin to stop the war. They also added that the British people remain resolute in their support for Ukraine. The people of the United Kingdom stand with our Ukrainian brothers and sisters in the face of this unjustifiable assault on your homeland. We salute the fierce bravery and patriotism of your government, your military and your people. Recently, the UK and US governments announced further sanctions on Russia. The sanctions included financial measures that are designed to reduce Russia's economy and personally sanction the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, the oligarchs, and other people who have benefited from his regime. Though Western countries will not send their own troops to Ukraine, they have sworn to continue to supply Ukraine the weapons and ammunitions that they need. The West is still contemplating if they would implement a no-fly zone or not, but based on the recent interviews of NATO leaders, a no-fly zone seems very unlikely. We all hope that peace shall be achieved in Ukraine and Russia would stop its aggression to its neighbors. All we can do right now is continue to support Ukraine. And as Prime Minister, I speak for us all in the United Kingdom when I say once again, Slava Ukraini.